Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland So just getting myself set up as usual So Yeah, just getting set up and hopefully someone will come and chat with me while I'm painting. We'll see how it goes. That's too small. Okay. So I'm just getting my bits and pieces ready. I'm just having a slug of my coffee. So if you've come to have a look, come in and say hello. Um, as usual, it's just plain mess. And we'll see how it goes. So this month in August is the, I need to get my words correct here, SU Colour Challenge group on Facebook. Hi Joanna. So if you're not in the SU Colour Challenge group, you might want to join because it's actually a great big group for, well, for challenging you to use your Stampin' Up! colours. So every month we have a colour challenge. Um, I'm on the team. Hi Christine and you come. Hi Nessa. Hi Joanna. Um, yeah, so... I'm just telling everyone about the Issue Colour Challenge group, which everyone can join. It's not just for demonstrators, it's there on Facebook. So if you have a look and ask to join, um, I'm sure you will be able to get in. So what it does is it gets you using your colour. So every month we put out a challenge. There's a few of us on the admin team. And um, I just recently joined a few months ago. And it was... I might actually be coming up for a year by now, but it seems like a reason. It was my turn this month to choose the colours. Uh, we always associate, we always choose a picture, a visual, and then we choose colours from that. So mine is a picture of a very colourful... Hi Elizabeth, in you come. This month it... And, and LaDonia, hi! <laughs> this month the colours are... that go from... come from the picture that I chose. It are Just Jade, Pumpkin Pie and Daffodil Delight and that and um, yeah it seemed a bit of an odd palette at first but it, you need to go in and have a look and see the picture of the bird it is absolutely beautiful um that, that we use that for inspiration so this is what I one of the cards that I've done and you'll see that um it was published in the group just the other day there for you to see. So what I've been doing is painting on craft card. Just just something different for me. And using our craft white ink. So I've got my pretty little bowl here. And I'm just going to put a little bit. Yeah, it's just, I like the craft card and I have seen some different things using it. So... So what I'm doing is just putting myself a little teeny wee bit of that ink in there and I'm going to I'm going to use it straight I think so what I've done is I've cut myself I'll do I'll replicate this again maybe use different colours because we've got this one in the it was just to draw your attention to the colour challenge group and hopefully some of you'll go come along and join and support us every month it's great to see we, you get to publish you you get to share your work as well um yeah so it's, it's a great wee inspiration place i've cut myself a few bits of card i'm into these mini slimline cards and i did promise to come on and do an envelope that does for these and i will do that i promise very soon um i need to get myself organized so i've, I've got four little bits they're five centimeters by ten centimeters yep and that's what I've got ready just for stamping and then we'll make up some cards. But I just felt that the black black on the craft card works well and I've just lined that inside. That the, the basic card is just one of these six by six sheets folded in half, lined with some basic white, and that's it. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll stamp 
we'll, we'll use that same image first but then we might have a look and uh, do some different images because I was originally thinking I was going to use water when I first started doing this I did use um, stays on and I think that's probably a good idea although this is an old stays on pad I'm not quite sure where my newer one is but we'll see how we go actually I need to move my iPad because it doesn't have much charge in it so bear with me boop, boop, boop. bring it through this way and so that I can plug it in it's having a bit of a charge problem to do right that should keep that with power so that I can see your comments so how are you all you're all at different stages of the day so I've inked up this image from colour and contour because that's the one I used originally so let's just stick with that and not make life too complicated so I'm just inking up now if you use stays on it means you can use water because it's it doesn't mix I think anyway I'll get myself all mixed up yeah if you're going to use watercolour you better to use your stays on and if I've got that wrong somebody tell me because I'm a bit too early today <laughs> if I got around the opposite I could be the opposite way anyway we're just going to use it is there anyone here that's actually switched on <laughs> more than me today is <laughs> Is it stays on for watercolour and memento for the others like your inks and um, your alcohol? Has anyone comment? And it doesn't seem to be keeping up with the comments here. Can you let me know you're there, folks? It's stuck now. This is Hi Gail. Oh thanks. I'm just going to so what I've done is I've got a little a very thin watercolour paintbrush and I'm just <laughs> I just couldn't get my brain. Do you know sometimes when you say something? So I'm just I'm just getting a wee bit loading a bit of the craft way onto my brush. <laughs> right, that's good. Thanks for the reassurance. And then basically I'm just going to brush the white in and then we'll once it's dry we'll add the colour. I mean you could dilute this with a little bit of water you could wet your brush but if you want your colours to be a bit more vibrant on top I think the thinner your watercolour brush the better but obviously it just takes you a bit longer and it will soak in So while I'm getting the white on, can you start thinking of what colours, I need two tones of colour for the flower and a green. And I'm just going to use ink from the ink pad. So what colours would you like me to work with this time? To be honest, I actually quite like them white. But I just 
it just helps that by getting the base of white on here it means that when you put your colour on top it's a bit more vibrant Blushing Bride, yeah. I'm looking for two pinky colours, then a deeper one and then a lighter one maybe. What about, would we, would Flirty Flamingo and Blushing Bride work well together, do you think? So what's everybody else up to today? I've not been out and done much walking today. Every time I look out the window, it's raining again. And I'm, I got wet yesterday and then I got the chills and had to have a hot bath. So I don't really want to get the chills tonight. That was maybe just a bit more, a bit too much white, but it will. It does soak in. See, it's soaking in, you'll see. So this is just a bit of fun, quite therapeutic. Oh, you've been doing a one sheet wonder type of thing, Ladonia. Good fun. Seven cards from one sheet, pretty good. Are they all different to each other? And just like that. I might need to take my heat tool to this. Right. Very good. Right, I'll just... Okay, so what colours are we, we were... What did we see? What, where were you? Soft succulent blushing bright. <laughs> See where we go with this if I feel I need an I bring down flirty if I feel it needs just a bit of deeper at the back. But we'll see where we go with this, Christine. What I'm going to do is take my heat tool and dry this off. If you were doing this and you're not filming and got people watching, you could just do a few of these, leave them to dry and come back. I actually quite like the black and white look too. If that was just on there, that actually that's okay. Now let's try this off a bit. to just do it from the pad or so what you can do for over the top is you can use a water painter but we'll try with a dry brush first I'm being honest I can't actually remember what I did when I did the first one so I just pop in a bit of blush and bride on this block and I'll pop a bit of soft, soft succulent on the other side and then that gives me right so let's have a go at the flowers first I'll just have this will glue down when we're done but we'll just pick up oopsie still got white on my brush but that's okay because that's what we're after except I've gone for the leaves maybe I shouldn't have come live today my brain and my 
My brain and my mouth are not connected, but they never were, so. So I'm just adding the colour on top again. You can add layers. Um, let me just get my cloth here. So Julie, just play. I'm going to take more of the white off. But clearly I'm doing the leaves first. <laughs> I think the thinner your watercolour brush the better. I'll just leave that at that. I'm going to try this one. I've got another brush here. And we'll pick up some pink. It might be a bit thick, I might have to. It's actually working quite well. You see how it's the colours coming. I can see it, that bit needs a bit of green there. Just put a wee bit of green at the bottom of the bud. I'm actually going to turn that around because I just feel that if you pull the brush, it is pretty, isn't it? If you pull the brush. So that it's going to be darker where you're starting. So just, it really just does play until you get what you want. Obviously, you know, experiment a bit to see whether you like it better with letting the white completely dry or whether you, you can do it while it's still wet. You know, you can just experiment to see what you like best. It's just giving you a kind of watercolour-y look. I'm okay with that, actually. Isn't it? You could add, you know, you can add in another wee, let's just see the difference that just a bit of flirty flamingo might make just at the base there. I mean, if I ruin it, I ruin it. It's just a bit of paper, isn't it? just to add that bit of deeper colour. And it's quite nice sometimes to see the brush strokes. It does look a wee bit more painterly. There you go. I think that's pretty. I think we'll, we'll pop We'll have a go at something else in a minute, but what we'll do is we'll make this up, shall we? Maybe, maybe not. I actually think I'll put it aside to dry, but that's going to go on to there. And we'll make a sign. We'll pop it to dry and we'll stamp something else. I actually got another image in mind. I brought this out as well, because I think this lady here and the flowers would paint beautifully. Yeah, I'm liking the flirty. It just brought the colour up that wee bit. I love this image of this lady. 
that's from Beautiful Moments. So I am going to find a block. And I actually think you could do this in Memento because we're not really adding a lot of water. I'm just closing these up just now because you know what will happen if I don't. Let's just do it with Memento and then we'll know. I think it's I don't think it will be a problem. I'm going to pop her down at the bottom to ground her. And then we've got some birds here. Actually, we've got butterflies. What about a few butterflies just to make the scene? Do you know what? I've got ink on. Let's wipe this one off. Right. But I don't know where my little me blocks are. I've got myself in a fine old mess here today. So we'll just pop a few butterflies. Just to take away that black blank. We'll wipe these off and put them back in the box because we'll lose them otherwise, won't we? So again, while while I'm painting the white bits, you start thinking of what colours to give this a nice summary, a, a nice summary look. Let's, what do you think her dress should be? I'm thinking that the flowers are like lavender, so I think I'm actually thinking I'll use Highland Heather for the flowers. We're just doing a bit of painting with craft white. And so it looks quite bright at first when it first goes on, but it um, it soaks in. Whoops. So it's just, it, it doesn't have to be like thick and even, it's only just to give the colour and you want the colour to be in different shades. Yeah, well, this is not a masterclass, Nicola, <laughs> this is just experimenting. The only way we can find out how things work sometimes is to play. And you see how as it soaks in the black line, even when I've gone over the line, it's coming back. Now, I'm not going to attempt to put paint on her arms because I actually think that the craft is just a fine enough colour for skin. I 
I'm more thinking that I'm just going to add colour to her dress and the wee sort of flowers which I see as kind of lavender. This is our refill for our Craft White, our Whisper White refill. I use it quite a bit. So just pops a few dots here and there. We might add a wee bit of white to the butterfly seeing as I've over inked the black there. So that, I'll let that dry in and then I'll just add colour on top. So, if I want to, well why don't I use fresh freesia for the wee flowers? Use that. What would you think her dress should be? What colour will we do her dress? Who's going to suggest? So I'm just going to pop the colour on the block here. I'm going to have a so saffron dress, alright, yep, nice summer colour. Or leave it white, that's a possibility. But since Ladonia was first, then I did invite. Right. We'll, we'll have a go. But could leave it all white. I think actually just like that is fine. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll just pop... <gasps> Excuse my dramatics. Just because I put my finger in the fresh freesia. That's me though. That's me all over. Drama, drama. Probably could have done with having a bowl of water just for cleaning, but oh, let me see. Oh, I missed that. Where, where did Joanna say so saffron? All right. Well, do you know what I'm thinking? Actually, I could to two tone it a bit. Use the so saffron and then bring in the help papaya to give some of the shadows. We'll, go, we'll have a go anyway, let's play. I'll get, I'm just going to give it a wee quick blast with the heat tool. the dress I'll use the bigger brush I have cleaned it off It does pick up the white and it mixes in, but that's fine. Just a, a different way to add some colour and have some fun. It would be nice for a bridal shower card, you're right. I love these line drawings stamps. I just think they're so pretty. You don't need to have any particular 
artistic talents you just just a willingness to play Oh, Nika, thank you very much. You're so kind and supportive. So I'm wondering if I pop in a bit of pale papaya in here too, just... See what it adds. So who's going to have a go at painting? on the craft. Who's already bought some of this craft card? I really like it but um, yeah I just wanted to play. I haven't used craft card for quite a lot of years actually. Just adding more of the pale papaya there. Hey <laughs> Wendy! <laughs> Is it dinner time for you? So I'm picking up the fresh freesia here and I'm just going to do some dots on top of the white on the flowers. Just some fun. I think it looks pretty impressive. Maybe I'm easily impressed, I don't know. Does this not just make you feel peaceful, this scene? A bit of, whoops, a bit of colour on the butterfly. And I seriously don't think that needs anything else, do you? Yes, it's just peaceful and just relaxing. I feel chill. I feel quite relaxed doing it. But I mean you can add, you can keep adding colour. Let, we might want to put just a bit more so saffron. We'll go back in here and use up. Oops. I'm just going to leave it at that. I think, you know, you could build up the colour or you can leave it quite subtle. It's your shout. So I'll just give them a wee blast again with the heat gun. And then I'm just going to glue them up if I can find. I keep moving this I don't when I'm working and messing everything up. Right let's just the craft card does take on, on a kind of a bit it does have a bend to it if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I think layering it onto another piece of card just helps it to get flattened and just once you've got it where you want it then just pop it upside down and firmly spread the glue out and make sure it's going to be 
adhered. I do love this, that's it, the colour and contour. Oh, look at me. But then I was going to actually, where, where is it? I was actually thinking that this wee splatter stamp, let me clean my ink off. And I've got my white craft stamp. You could do actual splatters, but you've seen me do splatters before and that's not always pretty. So let's see if we can do it with a splatter stamp and the craft white. Yeah, this looks bright white to start off with, but again, it will go back. I did that one by wetting the brush and splattering, but sometimes that goes wrong for me. Now we'll just put a few just around. I'm actually going to stamp off first. That will go back, it won't look as bright. Let's pop some glue on the back. The craft white takes longer to dry. I'm putting a fair bit of glue on just so that it sticks to the black, okay. Here's our two pictures and then we need two pieces, one, two to make the base cards and just get my score. Now this is where I change what I'm doing. I'm just going to stick with fold, these are six by six and I'm just going to stick with scoring them at three inches. So although I've done the bit for the middle in centimetres. I'm not going to overcomplicate life. That is a six by six piece of card scored at three inches. And that's your base card. It does need a bit of persuasion to do what you want it to do. Um, is it just, it has a curve and it, it has arrived curved. But if you're stuck, you can always put your finished card under a heavy book. Anybody seen my bone folder? That's like my the chant of my life, isn't it? It all came from this one, Wendy. This was my one for the SU Colour, Colour Challenge. That or This month, August month, it was my turn to choose the image and the colours. So it's Pumpkin Pie, Just Jade and Daffodil, Daffodil Delight. And that was my um, design inspiration card to get you all started. So hopefully some of you will have entered. If you're not in that group, please come and join us and take part. I'll put the link to the group in the description box below later on. And if I ha if you're looking and I haven't done that, give me a poke and remind me that I said I would do that. Just line it up.
I'm sorry if there's a fair bit of background noise, but I have one of my neighbours having some kind of Hindu type of thing. Oh, look at me, I've done the Let's Go to Australia card, haven't I? Good idea to check where your card's opening before you add here your picture. Oh. So we need a wee sentiment and when I, I was using a scrap of black and I had had a long strip of here it is. Do, 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 do. I've got a strip of black here. I've got my craft white, and I did look out art gallery because it's got happy birthday, congratulations, good luck. It's got some good sentiments here. And actual fact, you know, these would work too for this type of painting, this one particular. But you'd have to stamp it with white to start you off. And then you could add colour over the top. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Oops, see, this is, I think I'm finished and then I'll start. I'm thinking happy birthday would be a good one. I thought I was nearly finished but actually I've just had another wee idea which if you want to hang about I'll have a go. So we'll see I don't know how thin this just get a fair bit of white ink on your stamp. It does go back a bit you could heat emboss it with white but I'm trying to stay with subtle so let's just It will go back, although it looks bright just now, it won't stay bright. I think I'll just do another one while I'm on. <laughs> Leave them to dry before we try to snip them up and then I've got this other one idea that came to me when I was looking at art gallery. Whoops. This sprig here. It's quite a tricky one sometimes because you've got your leaves and your floral bit. Have a go. Where's the blocks? I had a bigger block somewhere. Oh, I need to tidy up. It was like, will I go live or will I tidy up? <laughs> oh, I'll go live. <laughs> I know another. Is this is what happens when you start? You always fit on this because I don't. Yeah, maybe needs to be more square, doesn't it? We'll just stick with this sack because it won't matter if it goes off the side, will it? Got another idea, actually. What we can do is we can... So we'll start with inked it up with white and then we'll be able to paint over that. And it should work, but if it doesn't, well, it doesn't. I think it will. I mean, this is about adding colour to craft. Obviously, stamping with white itself is fun too.
Uh, kind of got a bit of a just take some of that off with that another idea just bit well I didn't want to just cut and run when Gina just came in <laughs> now I'm thinking this time let's go bright bright let's see what happens if we use something really bright like it didn't go much brighter than ours. Yes, it's the new craft paper, so we're sort of experimenting with it. So Gina, I did this for the SU colour challenge. So then I thought I'll come on and show you guys what I did. So we've used different colours here. And then we've used this one from Beautiful Moments. And then when I was getting the sentiment out of art gallery, I thought, you know, actually, it might be fun to have a go with that. So this time. Actually, see, I've got some ink in there, but what I'm thinking is, where's my block? Ah, here's another block. Just get some. Right, I'll take the bigger brush. I mean, we'll see if this works or not. There's nothing to lose. I've not dried it. We're just going with it. The only way to find out how things work is to play with them, in my opinion. The only limits are your own imagination. Because if we stamped straight with the mimic, the any of the colour straight on the craft, they would be kind of lost. But with the white underneath. <laughs> You're going to have that straight on, good on you. Kind of a bit like tool painting, isn't it? Painting on enamel or ceramic. I particularly like brush marks. And this is art gallery after all this stamp set, so you know. be quite dull in, in Eka but there's nothing to stop you trying and see what you what you like so then I want the green this time I think I'm needing to treat myself to some new but I probably have got some other watercolour brushes but they're at the bottom of a cupboard and I can't be bothered dragging everything out and it's just a bit oh hi Karen didn't know you were here So I'm going to be really um, 
controversial and bring in mystery moonlight. That's me all over. With the old um, ink pad cases, you could squeeze into a lid. Some of these that works and some of them they don't, so. To wipe my brush, don't I? But I'm using the wee one again. We're just messing about. It's messy play again today. But that's what floats my boat today. Pretending to be an artist. And that's the great thing about stamping up, you know, if you're not good at drawing but you like the colouring and or the painting, the images we've got are perfect. Who's going to know I didn't paint that myself except for all my stamping up buddies? <laughs> They'll all recognise the image. I'm just putting a bit more of the colour in so you can keep, you can keep adding the thing to remember as with any kind of colouring is you can add colour, but taking it away is a little bit more difficult. So it's good to just start off gentle and build it up. It's, it's actually really therapeutic, to tell you. Um, I don't, I'm really enjoying myself. <laughs> I'm just relaxing. I think because I'm using it in the dry brush as well, I'm pretty sure that's a technique, dry brush technique. You know, it's just a wee bit of the ink. I mean, I guess if you really wanted, you could use your re-inkers in a palette, but I think this is probably less dangerous for me, if you know what I mean. I'm just, just gently going over it. So glad I had a go at this. I'm really pleased. I'll be looking for more images that I can do this with. Just perfect for a rainy Saturday. I keep thinking I should be going out for a walk and every time I look out the window it's raining. So. Hey Barb! In you come. 
So, ladies, I hope you'll all have a go. Right, I'll pop this to the side and I think by the time I put a black sentiment and frame that with black, I think it will be good. It's doing a bit of splatter just because I can. Don't be scared, but this will go, it'll go back. When you put the craft white, the white on it first, it, um, it looks, it lies on the surface, but it soaks in and it does go, the colour goes back a fair bit. But I'll just see if I can find a scrap of black. Here we go. I'll just cut that. I've got a bit of cleaning up to do now. Right, let's see, is that a straight bit right? 5.4. Because I cut the. Oh, that's not even straight, is it? Like, let's get a straight bit. That's no use. Ten point four, because the other piece is five by ten. So just add on a little bit for the border. Is that right? Yep. Who is? Are you all got? Who's adding craft? card onto their next order who's not already got it. I think Christine said you already just had some or it was on its way. Something like that. So these girls outside are getting louder and louder. And maybe I'm just getting old and boring. I think it's like they've got a, um, what do you call it, a, oh my goodness, my words won't come today, you know one of them tent type things that you can put in your garden, what's it called, <laughs> help me out ladies, this is getting old thing, <gasps> gazebo, they're not even kids, Janine, they're just they're young ladies, um, adult ladies. It's like a hen do or something. And it's they've been drinking cocktails. Yeah, they've got a gazebo in the garden. Now obviously you can line these cards with some basic white I'm just giving it a bit of a I think maybe that's what's wrong eh? maybe because I've not been invited that's what's upsetting me <laughs> it's not upsetting me at all it was just I was filming earlier and they started screeching they were playing some kind of daft game and I hadn't closed the window. I've not closed it because I knew you guys wouldn't mind, but it's just when you do a recorded video. Um, it just doesn't seem to, right. Let's pop this on as well. So thanks for dropping by and chatting while I've been doing this. I've enjoyed your company. I was going to do it any more than just show you that first that one card with that. Because 
don't forget to jump on Facebook and join SU Colour Challenge. Now it's spelt the North American way of colour. So it's S-U-C-O-L-O-R Challenge and that's the name of the group. And if you ask to join, you will be allowed. So I'm just going to pop that about there. I'm just going to glue it on. That's so cool. It does. Actually, thinking this time. <laughs> Might just want this one straight. I'm thinking if I just cut that about there. Now that is 5.4 across. So this time. cut that squint. Who'd have thought? There you go, you wouldn't notice that now. This one, I don't know, if, I can't remember which stamp set I got that. Congratulations from, it's teeny tiny. I know I don't want to cover anything too much with a sentiment. Let's just quickly just trim that. Just a wee angle like that, a wee jaunty angle in line with that Y. I don't think these need much else, to be honest. I'm just going to tidy up and let you have a proper look. Well, you know what I mean by tidy up. Shove everything out of the way. <laughs> oh, I had a little bit of coffee there. I'll just drink that before I spill it. Your other th idea with this one as well, you could have with the flower, you could have stamped that with white and then put your colour on top of it with that one. You can play around with all your stamps. Your two, I'm thinking the chrysanthes as well might be interesting. The dahlias rather from Celebration might be interesting. Okay, so here's where we started, ladies. This was my sample card. This was my um, design inspiration for this month's SU Colour Challenge. And the colour palette was Daffodil Yellow, Pumpkin Pie and Just Jade. And you are allowed to bring in a neutral. Well, I brought in two neutrals, but hey, there you go. And then this is the one I did. And at uh, Christine's suggestion, we used Blushing Bride and then I added in some Flirty Flamingo as well. Pardon me, and we used Soft Succulent for the green. Again, you could, you know, you might want to add even more. Then we went to Beautiful Moments and we brought out this beautiful line drawing of the lady and the flowers. I absolutely, absolutely adore this image and I think that's just sweet. And then, of course, when I was looking for a sentiment and then I was using Art Gallery stamp set, I just decided to have a go with it. And actually, I'm very pleased with what I've done there. Yeah, I think it's my... In the end, it's actually my favourite too. So you just don't know. That's why I keep saying to everybody, just play. 
Play, play, play. And then see what you get. So thanks everybody for coming and sharing my a little bit of my Saturday afternoon. Well, I guess it's evening now here in the UK. But anyway, thank you very much, everybody. I, there will be a video soon, I promise you, for the envelopes that these mini slim lines, can, you can make your own envelope to go with them. Yeah, I'm the same in a car. I, it brings down the magenta madness a fair bit, doesn't it? Thanks for your company. Really enjoyed it. Um, take care everybody enjoy the rest of your Saturday whatever you're doing with it and it's lovely to see you all if you're watching on replay I appreciate your support too please subscribe please press the bell icon so you get notified when I'm coming back and Wendy are you on in a little while Wendy usually does a live Woos Creation usually does a live on Saturday at half past eight UK time so if you're looking for something else to inspire your creativity, Wendy's an amazing crafter, so check her out on Facebook. Yeah, 8.30, Woos Creations on Facebook. Take care, everybody. See you later. Yeah, don't forget to give me thumbs ups and positive comments later on. Thank you.